Hi friends, this is Mayanak Mishra and welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss with you Andrei Tarkovsky A Retrospective Part 4. As part of Tarkovsky A Retrospective Part 1, 2 and 3, I already discussed 11 filmmaking styles of Tarkovsky in total. And today as part of Andrei Tarkovsky A Retrospective Part 4, I will discuss other three filmmaking styles of Tarkovsky and those are poetic cinema, use of famous medieval paintings and music. The first filmmaking style for today is poetic cinema. Andrei Tarkovsky was not okay with the contemporary concept of poetic cinema. He believed that unnecessary allegories and symbols are ingested into films in the name of poetic cinema. Like Antonioni, he believed in making films based on the rapt observation of the present moment instead of making plot driven films which are mostly based on what will happen next. So his films usually have very long takes. As for Tarkovsky, if the director finds connection and gets impacted by the landscape, it will in turn impact the viewers as well. Establishing a character in the surrounding is the true meaning of poetic cinema. The second filmmaking style that I want to discuss with you today is use of famous medieval paintings. Tarkovsky was fascinated by the works of famous medieval painters like Leonardo da Vinci, Peter Bruegel the Elder, Andrei Rublev, Albrecht Durer, Piero della Francesca and Carpaccio. He believed that their paintings deeply portrayed Russian people and culture. So quite naturally, their paintings are featured in his films as well. Those paintings depict the central themes of his films with fineness. Peter Bruegel the Elder's famous painting the Hunters in the Snow is featured in Mirror and Solaris. His famous painting Four Season Series is featured in Solaris. Leonardo da Vinci's A Young Lady with a Juniper and an Old Folio that contains beautiful Ferronera, The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne, Mona Lisa and the Adoration of Magi are featured in Mirror. The Adoration of Magi is featured as the central theme of the sacrifice. Andrei Rublev's multiple paintings are featured in the epilogue section of Andrei Rublev. Like Birth of Christ, Lord's Entry into Jerusalem, Twelve Apostles, The Annunciation, Christ Enthroned in Glory, Transfiguration, Christmas and the Trinity. The Trinity is featured in Solaris. Albert Durer, Albrecht Durer's The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse 
the portrait of Ulrich von Buller and Night, Death and Devil are featured in Ivan's childhood. Famous fresco Madonna del Parto by Piero della Francesca is featured in Nostalgia. So paintings and cinema are deeply connected to each other even though they are two distinct forms of art. Much like Tarkovsky's films, paintings to efficiently portray human behavior, psyche, emotions, philosophy and psychology. The third and the last filmmaking style for today that I want to discuss with you is music. Tarkovsky used both classical music and electronic music for his films. He used classical music by music icons like Bach and Beethoven and electronic music composed by contemporary musicians like Eduard Artemiev and Vyacheslav Ovchinikov. In Mirror, he used Bach's soulful and melancholy music and Eduard Artemiev's slow-paced electronic score. In Andrei Rublev and Ivan's childhood, he used remarkable nostalgic and melancholy background score composed by Vyacheslav Ovchinkov. Beethoven's Symphony No. 9 was featured in Stalker. Tarkovsky wanted a combination of Eastern and Western music for the background score of Stalker. After a lot of research, Eduard Artemiev used a combination of the tunes of flute, tanpura and Azerbaijani tar. Those tunes were modulated significantly to form a single string. In Solaris, he used Bach's soulful melancholy and soothing music for the countryside scenes and Eduard Atimhev's terrifying electronic score for the space scenes. The same emotion is reflected in the romantic scene when the space station loses gravity, crease and hurry, float and embrace each other and Bach's music is played in the background. Then it is cut to the serene countryside and then it slowly dissolves into the terrifying view of Solaris and the terrifying electronic background score composed by Eduard Atemiev. Using music Tarkovsky differentiates between natural or real life and the artificial life. He combined music and sound such a way that their existences cannot be differentiated. Tarkovsky believed that music is not a mandatory requirement for films and can be replaced by sound. So these are the three filmmaking styles that I wanted to discuss with you today as part of Andrei Tarkovsky, a retrospective part four. And I will discuss other styles in the next video. Request goes again that please support me 
please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you do not miss regular updates and if you have any comment put it down below thank you so much for watching this video and until i make the next video thank you so much and bye